It is a final, Wichita 63 and Missouri State 60 oh, in right. overtime. Okay. The Shockers pull it out. Wichita State is 2-0 and on the season. This is Missouri State's first game of the year, and they are 0-1 on the year. And I'm joined now by a relieved Keith Adams here courtside. And, Coach, if I told you before the game that Missouri State would have 25 offensive oh. rebounds, and you turn it over 27 times, what would you tell me your chances of winning were going to be? Very minimal. We uh, we were very, very fortunate to get out of here live today. Hey, Dot. Was that was that fun, babe? We've got some fans coming and joining Is us your ticker courtside. okay? Okay. Thanks for being here, sweetie. Okay. Neat to see all the smiles on these oh, I know. faces. What a ball game. Yeah. You know, uh, on the rebounding side, we didn't deserve today's game in the way our effort was on the boards. We didn't deserve it. But I'm going to say this. I, I, I'm really proud of our young team that, gosh, we made some clutch plays at some clutch times. Wow. And, you know, a lot of things we could have done better and differently. But, um, you know, I, I think their little half-court zone where they extended here, you know, all we needed to do was make a free throw shot right there at that high post. and. We made an adjustment down the stretch. I went with Ashley at the point and put Serafini at the high post. Yeah. And I think that really that really helped us because really that had been there the whole night and we just hadn't done it. Um, but what a great crowd today. Yeah. yeah. Got to uh, definitely got to uh, tip your hat to Missouri State for playing a very uh, hard-fought, spirited, competitive game. It was a heck of a ball game and. Uh, you know, I, I, I know what we didn't do well on the boards and some costly turnovers and, you know, when we just needed to attack the middle of that thing and score to get them out of it, and we really never did, and we kind of just fiddled around with it, but uh, we hung in there and, gosh, you got you to gotta, you gotta say Carla. Yeah. What a Big huge shot. shot. Yeah. I mean, basketball, yeah. basketball gods were with us a little bit yeah. up there, and, uh, and then I think our half-court trap. Yeah. Um, you know, our offense was struggling so that I just said, hey, we got to get in our 12. And we got in that. And I do think that, you know, we had thought we were going to get the ball once here. Yep. And it yep. went out of bounds. And they went to them. And um, But I felt like our half-court trap helped us. And uh, just a gutsy win. And, um, you know, I, I will definitely get my rebounding book out. <laughs> we will be doing rebounding drills. But uh, I am uh, very proud of this young team, and this is such a great confidence uh, boost for us to, sure. you know, to struggle, to be down, to be up, and then to be down, and then come back and do that. So it's, it's, it's yeah. great for our experience and learning and uh, great crowd today. I want to thank all the Shocker fans for coming out. And, and I think this team's going to be a fun team for, uh, for people to watch. Um, we're not going to be a well-oiled machine for some quite some time. But, you know, it's kind of, it, I think it's a really unique opportunity for people to jump on board with us because we have all these freshmen and you can see them right now and and be a part of, of cheering these kids who have come all over the country to play for Wichita State. All over the world. All over the world. Yeah. And you're going to get to see these guys flourish and grow because they're playing as pups. We're playing as freshmen. But, uh, you know, great win. And um, I'm not, uh, I'm not going to grade it, but I'm going to count it. I'm going to take it. Well, you can't fault the rebounding, or at least much of it, for Raven Prince. What a Huge. day for her. 12 points Huge. and 12 boards as well. Yeah, you know, we went to several people on our bench. We really weren't getting it, and Raven, you know, Raven did. And uh, at halftime, you know, we started her to start the half, and Raven played a lot of minutes today because she rebounded, and we were lacking that. Thank God she did it today, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna find a way to be a rebounding team, uh, and we're gonna work on that. You know, we I do think that one thing that we did defensively that was good was we mixed it up. We went half court man, we went the two the, the two three zone. Just cause I think they're a kind of team that if you just play them straight man, they're gonna find a rhythm. Yeah. You play them straight zone, they're gonna find a rhythm. And so and we really wasn't rebounding out of either one. So it wasn't you know, we were probably a little worse out of the zone, but we felt like it was to our advantage to mix up our defenses because you just play one against them and I think they can, they're can they kind of a club that can get into a groove. So that was part of the strategy. And, uh, you know, I thought we made some some 
key adjustments. We struggled all night with some things, but hey, just can't say how proud I am that the kids came out on top. So this a big one today. Absolutely. I, you know, I, I, uh, I, most importantly for me, I just want uh, I want Shocker fans to get in here. You know, the one thing that uh, I've, I've made phone calls to people, we've done the Double Double campaign, and, you know, we're doing different things to try to, you know, get the word out, and I think we're putting out some great social media stuff with our videos to get to know our kids, but, you know, I really, uh, I want to fill Coke Arena up, and I want to, I want to fill some magic in this building, and today, it was magical today, really just was. with the kind of game we had, and, and uh, what a great, great kind of ending, and so I just, you know, want to encourage Shocker fans to come out. If you haven't seen us play, come see us play once, and if you like what you see, then come back and um, we but we need fans in here we you know for us to build this thing um, I need people support our kids do and our team does and and um, you know I came back home to try to do something special here and this is just the beginning we got a lot of work to do but uh, today's a great day to be a shocker 1,967 was the attendance, so there's 2,000 reasons why you'll get those folks to come back. What was the number? 1,967, just under 2,000. Okay. All right. So they'll be back. They would, they should after what they saw today. Go, yes. Those folks hopefully will go tell everybody what they saw yes. today because you're right, this is a great foundation and that's a good team that's going to win some games this year. Yes, they that's are. A quality win. This yes, is, they this are. This is up there in my mind with South Florida last year. It was a big one. It was a big one. Every yeah. one of them was going to be big for us, us diaper dandies, but yeah. that was a good one. So Great job. Alright, thanks Steve. Appreciate right, it. We'll go Shocks. Alright, Keith Adams after a shocker